destructive testing isn't easy. It's a costly procedure. You've got one chance to see what happens. One chance to collect data. How do you do it? Use the 5223 digitizing oscilloscope. Before we analyze this single shot event, let's stop for a few minutes and take a closer look at the 5223. The 5223 is a 5000 series plug-in oscilloscope. It has 10 MHz real-time bandwidth. What sets this instrument apart from other 5000 series oscilloscopes is digital storage. This new feature simplifies measurement tasks through easier data manipulation. The 5223 has a 1 MHz maximum sampling frequency, 1,000 point horizontal record length, and 10-bit vertical resolution. These storage controls are the keys that unlock the door to measurement flexibility. To capture and digitize a signal, you simply press the display button that corresponds to the vertical compartment you're working with. By pressing both display buttons, traces from each compartment are simultaneously displayed and the save buttons freeze the waveform in memory. Once in memory, the waveform can be redisplayed and manipulated to your advantage. Here we're using the horizontal and vertical expansion controls. These separate controls can expand images by factors up to 10. The 5223 also features controls for both vertical and horizontal repositioning. To give clear and comprehensive displays of complex waveforms, a vector generator connects data points into a single continuous trace. The CRT has an exceptionally bright, crisp trace, providing high resolution of the trace while eliminating fading or blooming. And digital storage permits trace display for as long as you like. This lets you concentrate on adjustments during your testing procedure. Some 5000 series vertical plugins that can be used in the 5223 include the 5A38, a dual trace amplifier, the 5A13N, a differential comparator, the 5A22, a differential amplifier, or the 5L4N, spectrum analyzer. The time base used with the 5223 is the 5B25N. By providing control of the 5223's digitizer, this time base significantly expands your measurement capabilities. At the beginning of this tape, we started a destructive test with two model trains. Collision testing is a fundamental procedure to determine the structural integrity of various types of machines and vehicles. To measure the internal forces and energy exerted or absorbed during collision, transducers are attached to the colliding vehicles. For our model train example, accelerometers have been attached to rail cars on both trains. When the two trains collide, the instantaneous deceleration will be recorded by the 5223. When setting up conventional trigger circuits, one of the hazards in attempting to capture transient events is selecting the wrong polarity. A wrong guess here could prevent you from capturing the data. To further complicate the measurement, you may want to examine information prior to the trigger event. A digital scope provides pre-trigger viewing, but there remains the uncertainty of which slope to trigger on. Both of these problems are solved with the 5223 and the 5B25N. As on other digital scopes, the 5B25N has pre-trigger capability. This pre-trigger range is continuously variable from 0% to 100%. However, unlike other digital oscilloscopes, the 5223 has a bi-slope trigger feature. When selected, the bi-slope trigger mode permits triggering on either a positive or negative transition. This feature eliminates the uncertainty of which slope to choose. Since each transducer has a relatively low output level, we use a high-gain, low-noise vertical amplifier, the 5A22. Two 5A22s are needed, one for each transducer. For this test, here are the instrument settings. 
On the 5223, adjust the real-time intensity to mid-range. Adjust the memory intensity to mid-range. And for the display, select left and right. On the 5A22, select DC for input coupling. On the 5B25N, set up the following controls. For the display, select CHOP. In the triggering section, select AC coupling. Auto mode, left source, select bi-slope trigger by turning the control to center position, and adjust the sensitivity. To set the amount of pre-trigger, rotate the pre-trigger control knob and observe the length of the displayed intensified zone. This intensified zone corresponds to the length of information stored prior to the trigger event. To display approximately 20% pre-trigger, set the control for two divisions of intensified zone. To capture the event, we select single sweep mode by pressing the reset button. This arms the sweep. Now we wait for the event. After the event has occurred, the 5223 displays the stored data. To retain the data, press Save for both left and right channels. Notice that the pre-trigger information is still intensified. This leaves no doubt as to where the trigger occurred. You're now ready to analyze the results. Single-shot events, such as the train collision, can be captured at sweep speeds up to 200 microseconds per division for two channels, or up to 100 microseconds per division for one channel. There are many applications where we need to examine both the relative amplitude of two signals and the phase difference or propagation delay between the signals. When designing components and circuits with hysteresis, it is more convenient to look at several displays at one time. These include displays of the input and output signals in standard Y versus time format. At the same time, you may display the hysteresis of output versus input. If you don't have to manually switch back and forth between XY and YT modes, then during adjustments to the sensitivity window or threshold levels of the circuits, the effects may be observed immediately. The 5223 has this capability of simultaneously showing XY and YT displays. The 5223 can store repetitive signals up to 10 MHz using sweep speeds from 50 microseconds per division to 0.2 microseconds per division. For example, here's an application using the 5223, 5B25N, 15A45, and 15A38. The control settings are as follows. On the 5A38, for the operating mode, select Channel 1 On. Select DC Coupling. On the 5A45, push Display On and select DC Coupling. On the 5B25N, select Normal Mode, select AC Coupling, Left Source, and Positive Slope. On the 5223, adjust both the memory and real-time intensities to mid-range. Press the Memory Display buttons for left and right channels. Then, position the real-time display in the lower half of the CRT. Press Left versus Right and use the vertical position control to move the XY display into the upper half of the CRT. Now you can make adjustments to the circuit under test while viewing the displayed results. Another application in which the 5223 excels is data stream monitoring. With conventional oscilloscopes, there is an unavoidable break in the chain of information between the end of a sweep and the beginning of the next sweep. This is a result of sweep circuit retrace and hold-off requirements. When viewing sine waves or identical pulses, such a break in the data stream is acceptable. But, for viewing variable shaped signals, such as in biomedical sciences, continuous information monitoring is essential. The roll mode on the 5223 enables continuous monitoring of input data without retrace disruptions or loss of information. Here we're looking at pre-recorded data from a multi-channel FM tape recorder.
Notice the waveforms parade across the CRT from right to left in a continuous stream. The viewing window depends on the sweep rate. For example, at one second per division sweep rate, the viewing window will be 10 seconds. The roll mode is available over the range of 5 seconds per division through 0.1 second per division. Up to four channels can be presented in roll mode for simultaneous display and comparison of events. And the 5223 save function gives you the ability to freeze the display in the roll mode at any point to capture important data. For documentation, the saved displays on the 5223 can be outputted to an analog XY plotter. XY outputs plus pen lift and output speed control are all standard. For easy integration with other instruments, the optional GPIB makes the 5223 bus compatible. The GPIB interface allows control of the scope's digital functions by a controller. In Talk Listen, the 5223 may carry on full two-way communication with the controller. The storage controls can be manipulated, the waveforms transferred, and calculations performed by the computer. In Talk Only, the 5223 may be used for continuous data logging. GPIB, XY Outputs, Roll Mode, XY, YT modes, pre-trigger, bi-slope triggering, horizontal vertical expansion, and digital storage, features that make the 5223 digitizing oscilloscope the powerful answer to expanded measurement needs. Mm -hmm.